Greetings YouTube, this is Christopher McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. Today we have a very cool guitar for you as a limited edition from our friends at Taylor Guitars, new for 2017, is the 410E Baritone. That's right, if the neck seems a little bit long on this, that's because it is, and it should be, it's a baritone guitar. Now these are very cool guitars. Taylor has built baritones for a number of years now, but they're not part of their standard lineup. This particular one is especially cool because it comes to us in the form of a dreadnought body. Now outside of their custom shop, the only other time Taylor has introduced a dreadnought bodied uh, baritone guitar was back in 2014, also as a limited edition guitar. This 410 has a number of upgrades that really play into the full rich characteristic tone of a baritone instrument. Now if you're not familiar with a baritone guitar, basically it's a guitar that's tuned down lower. It's a longer scale, I believe it's about 27 inches, so it's a little bit longer than a standard uh, 25 and a half inch Taylor. That longer scale allows us to put uh, thicker gauge strings on it and tune it down to a lower pitch, but still have the feel that we would expect of a guitar. The strings aren't flopping all over the place, in other words. So if you've ever taken your guitar and tried to, say, tune it down to low C, and that low E string's just like buzzing all over the place and flopping and really loose, then you know what I'm talking about. A baritone is designed to kind of address that need and give you an instrument with a lower, deeper timber, um, and that's really tuned down for a number of reasons. Um, we've had people buy them because they sing in kind of a baritone pitch and they're tired of having to capo their guitar on the fifth fret all the time and really have that high, uh, high end kind of sound to it. They really want something that's richer, but that works with their voice and their octave of singing. Um, it also is a creative powerhouse. When you pick up a guitar like this, it brings some nuance to the table and you can find uh, new voicings for a lot of the uh, typical songs that you're used to playing with this, uh, this new lower pitch. So the guitar is tuned uh, B to B. So from E, we're gonna go down basically uh, four and a half steps or five frets. Think of it as capoing downward. So it's B to B. B, E, A, D, uh, F sharp, uh, B. So it's got a real nice, rich, low tone to it. Let's talk about the specs of this guitar and something that they've done to really upgrade it as a limited edition. It is a 400 series, and so it has a lot of the appointments we would expect of a, of a 400 series. That crisp white binding, for instance, which is a trademark of the series, offsets this wonderful tobacco sunburst top, which is typically not available at this price point from Taylor. The back and sides are ovuncle uh, with a rich tobacco hue as well. And uh, the back and sides, are, like I said, they're oven called The top is Engelman Spruce. I gotta take a moment because I love Engelman Spruce, but you don't see Engelman Spruce very often um, on any guitars nowadays. Now there was a time, if you can get your hands on a older catalog, I don't know if we'd call it vintage at this point, but a late 90s catalog from Taylor, a number of their guitars came standard with Engelman Spruce tops. A 914C, which I own, uh, some Walnut Koa models, uh, their presentation series of guitars, a few five and seven series were available with Engelman Spruce tops. Engelman Spruce, is kind of sits in the middle uh, tonally between Sitka spruce and cedar. So cedar has a very warm tone to it, um, not a lot of headroom, there's not a lot of brightness, and if you strum too hard with cedar, it will begin to distort, to break up. Sitka spruce is nice and bright, and it's what we typically see on most acoustic guitars because it has a great all around character to it. Engelman has what some have described a bit more of a mature tone to Sitka. Think of it as what Sitka might sound like in about 10 years. It's got a roundness to the notes. It's got this unique uh, kind of trademark mellowness, but it's not um, as warm as cedar. It's not as bright as Sitka, and it um, handles a strum a lot better than cedar will. So it's a great top to give you this really nuanced tone. When paired with a back and side like Ovencol, you get rich, low end, nice, strong mid range, and this played in uh, kind of feel and sound to it. When we have it on a long scale guitar like this baritone, it's extremely rich. It's very, very warm, and it accentuates the depth of the low end that you have on this guitar. The neck on this is mahogany that's also been stained in this tobacco finish, and then it's all gloss 
with the ES2 pickup system, capped off with a rosewood uh, headstock overlay and the Taylor uh, logo and mother of pearl. It's a fantastic guitar, it's really cool, and it's a lot of fun to play, so if you ever get a chance, you've got to pick up one of these baritone guitars and just play some of your standard songs on it, and you'll be amazed at how much it just kind of becomes apparent, the uh, creative uniqueness that these guitars can bring to it. So, without any further ado, let's check this out so you can see what it sounds like. Well, hey, I hope you enjoyed our review of Taylor's new for 2017 limited edition 410E Baritone. This is a fantastic guitar. It would be great in your arsenal, particularly if you're looking for something unique to add that really will open uh, up the, the palette of playing and get your creative juices going. They're very limited. There aren't very many out there. So if you're interested in this, please go onto our website at alamomusic.com, send us an email, comment on this video, send us a tweet, come and see us, call us, what have you. We want to put these guitars in your hands and help you make music and bring joy to the lives of others as well as your own. So as always, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.